Welcome to art class, everyone. Today, we will be learning about wood carvings from 8,000 to 6,000 BC that were made in Africa. The main artistic products of tropical Africa were wood carvings, both masks and sculptures. So here's a map of the world. Here is um, North America, United States is here, and the continent of Africa is over here. All right, these style of masks were angular, off balance, and distorted. For members of African society, they were sacred objects harboring the life force of an ancestor or nat nature spirit and had power to cure il illnesses or harm enemies. This is similar to the Native American artists who also created masks for the same reason. On special occasions, the masks were removed from their shrines and decorated with beads and cloth. Unfortunately, the jungle climate rotted many of these wooden masks, but those that remain show the craftsmanship and honor these masks had in society. The artisans made the masks intentionally unrealistic. This made for a dramatic effect. The thought was, when confronting a supernatural power during a special ceremony, the performer would conceal his true identity behind this artificial face, the mask. Also, this style of carving inspired Pablo Picasso and the Cubist movement. So here you can see this is an African carved mask, and this is a uh, drawing by Pablo Picasso. So you can see the similarities between the mass and the cubist style. Now we have a couple of questions. So if you have the opportunity to make a choice, you can pause the video and um, make a choice. So the first one is, what were these masks made out of? Wood or fabric? If you said wood, you would be correct. Which artist was inspired by these masks? Georgia O'Keeffe or Pablo Picasso? If you said Picasso, great job. Okay, everyone, now you will view a demo on how to create your own mask. Here are the instructions for the art project. If you need to, you can come back to this part of the video to check the materials that are needed, the instructions, and if there are any alternative methods that you could do. All right, let's get into that demo. Okay, so now that you learned all about Maths of Africa, you're going to make your own. So there are a couple ways to do this. Um, first, I'll talk about the alternative method. So the alternative method is to just print out this coloring page, and then you can fill it in with whatever colors that the artist would like to do. So here, you know, this is what it could look like at the end, you know, using markers or crayons or colored pencils. Okay, so that's one way of making your mask. And you could cut this out and you could cut out for the mouth and the eyes and make it something that's three dimensional if you wanted to. So the other way of doing this is you could take maybe a couple mask templates to use so there's an oval shaped one and there's a round one and you could trace this onto a cereal box so here I have a cereal box that we're going to use to make our mask and the reason why we use a cereal box or a paper plate is because it's just a little bit sturdier than our paper is and we're going to be adding um, some extra things to it so it's helpful to have the sturdier background so you're also going to need some markers or something to color with um, I've got a few little extra little embellishments here that we could add to the mask. I have some feathers and some little pom-poms. And of course I have scissors so I could cut out the mask. Glue stick so I could add things. And also I have a hot glue gun um, off to the side here that you should only use uh, if you have adult supervision or someone to help you. All right, so I might use that for some of the things that I wanna to add to the mask. All right, so first things first is I'm gonna cut up the box and then trace, trace the template and then we'll start decorating.
Okay, so the uh, cardboard, the cereal box has been cut up. I have the template drawn, just the basic oval shaped template. Um, I drew out onto the cereal box. If you don't feel comfortable drawing it yourself, that's totally fine. You could just cut this out and trace it and that would give you the shape of the mask, okay? So now it's time to decorate this, right? So I am going to, like I said, use some markers, use some of our a little embellishments here, and uh, create the mat, design the mask that I would like to make, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, you guys, so there is the completed mask. Okay, so you can see that I chose to just do some shapes with the markers and fill them in. And then I added um, these pom-poms down the center with the hot glue, okay? And then I added some feathers on top. And this is a little trick just from many years of hot gluing and burning yourself because the hot glue gun is in fact very hot. Um, taking a little piece of uh, thicker cardboard like this cereal box and using that to press down something like a feather, which is very light and the glue goes right through it and right onto your finger. So you can just use this to um, press it down and make sure that it's in place where you want it. And I just left it on here um, because it didn't matter. It's on the back, right? So it's fine that it's there. Um, but there is the completed mask. All right, great job, you guys.